Hello friends, this video on biotechnology principles part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have ended our discussion on tools of genetic engineering. So we have discussed about the restriction enzymes, we discussed about how restriction enzymes work, we discussed about the vectors, we discussed about the host and the various techniques involved. So now it is time to talk about the processes of genetic engineering. Now when this entire concept or this entire flow of genetic engineering take place, there are various processes which are taking place. So by now we know which are the who are the actors in the movie of genetic engineering so we saw the different tools we know their roles but now we will see it as a process we will look at the entire flow of genetic engineering as a process so let us look at the steps of genetic engineering so when we talk about the entire process of genetic engineering it can be divided into following steps so it is a multi-step process which has many steps obviously. So the first step is isolation of desired DNA. So first of all we have to decide which is the desired DNA or which is the desired gene. Which gene are we interested in? So we have to first select or we have to first know our gene of interest. So once we know the gene of interest we should know where is this gene located in which DNA. So once we are able to locate that DNA we we will have to isolate that DNA in the pure form and that is what we were doing in the first step. First of all restriction enzymes will cut that part of DNA which contains the gene of interest. Then we will make it undergo through gel electrophoresis and then elution where we can separate the DNA alone in its pure from, form from that particular uh, organism. So the DNA is cut at specific sites that is done with the help of restriction enzymes. So the cut source, now this cutting of DNA happens not only at the source DNA but it also happens at the vector DNA because both the source DNA as well as the vector DNA needs to be cut and in both of them the same restriction enzyme is used. So when, once the cutting of DNA is done, then formation of recombinant DNA takes place. The cut vector DNA and the cut source DNA, they both combine together to form the recombinant DNA. So once that is done, then amplification of gene of interest using PCR. What is PCR? PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. Okay, now I think till this step we have almost discussed everything in detail that how recombinant DNA is formed. The next step which you would have thought is uh, introducing recombinant DNA into the host cell. Now, even if you insert it into the host cell, but before that it is very important that the gene of interest is amplified. So how do you amplify gene of interest? What do you mean by amplification? That means increasing the gene in intensity. What do we mean by intensity in terms of gene? That is to create several copies of the same gene. So to create multiple copies of the gene of interest. That is called amplification and it is done using polymerase chain reaction. Where DNA polymerase plays the key role. So we will talk about this process. So this is the next step. After this the recombinant DNA is inserted into the host cell. Now why do we why do we need to amplify the gene of interest? Because gene of interest is the key thing in this entire process of genetic engineering because we are doing all these complex processes just to transfer that gene of interest from one organism to another. So the gene of interest needs to be kept safe. That is why we create multiple copies of the gene of interest so, we, so that we do not lose that particular gene which is so very crucial. So amplification of gene of interest is very important. And then finally once the recombinant DNA is inserted into the host cell, after that that particular organism gets genetically modified and we get the foreign gene product which is then followed by downstream processing. So in downstream processing it is like the last uh, stage of purifying and filtering everything to give the finished product which can be directly marketed. Now this process of genetic engineering, this entire process 
takes place in order to produce or in order to manufacture products which would be useful to human beings and these products could be medicines these products could be enzymes now before any of these products are being marketed before that it is very important to purify them to check if uh, the finishing is being done correctly or not so all those small small things are taken care at the last step of downstream processing thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.